Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends reveal video talking about the Hasbro Marvel live stream from earlier this morning. You can see Ryan, Dwight, and Dan, Mad Dog, and the viewers right over here. I just happened to click this screenshot right here. They're not Mad Dog and anyone. I actually think the energy level uh, throughout this live stream was really high and they seemed like they were having an exceptionally good time. And I think pretty much all of these reveals were very solid. Like everything looked really good. No new characters. We'll get into this more, but first, if you're trying to get your Marvel legends, you can do so. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. So they first start out talking about uh, the Deadpool and Wolverine figures that they had on display or the pre-orders uh, had gone up for these two older figures. They also talked about uh, the Iron Man figures that they had up on display at WonderCon. They talked about their favorites, Dwight's being the She-Hulk, Dan's being the, the uh, Whiplash, and then Ryan's was the Model 9 Iron Man. Mine is the Model 20 or the Model 2024 boot. Uh, yeah, I am keep calling it Model 20 because that's what it says on the box. And then they start talking about their uh, their themed uh, anniversary uh, programs that they've had over the years. And they just went over all of the ones that they've had in the past. And they talk about how this is the 85 years of Marvel. And they started off with Wolverine, which I got to say is a pretty good looking figure. Right here we have Astonishing Wolverine to be more specific. And I love the photography, uh, shooting the galaxy. Matt it has done a fantastic job with all of these photos. I think they're great. We have new interchangeable hands. He has pointing hands. Uh, they mentioned that he has the same claws that we've seen before. We get a new head sculpt right there, by the way, which looks great. So it's the same claws, but we have new hands for those for the for the figure all the way through so there's new stitching pattern on there and everything and they got this cool shot of astonishing wolverine and astonishing emma and astonishing psych right over there which is pretty sweet hopefully we get a new astonishing beast which we really 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 need they said this is the first super articulated wolverine figure i beg to differ i think they've had a wolverine come out with this articulation scheme before i think it was the 12 inch version so uh, i I'm just going off the top of my head, but yeah, when I saw the articulation thing, I was like, ah, yeah, Bobby did make one of those, right? Didn't he? But it may not have had every single articulation point that we're seeing over here, but I think it did. Anyway, we haven't seen one quite like this at six inch scale. So there we go. And I'm excited for it. Nonetheless, we've needed a new Astonishing Wolverine and I'm definitely picking this one up. I'm actually, spoiler alert i'm picking up all of these all right I, I like what we're seeing over here with warbird at first i gotta say i was bummed out like i i went oh because i want the classic ms marvel it's going to be a target exclusive by the way the last one where she was in a three pack was a target exclusive which is kind of a funny coincidence but it's a good looking figure i love seeing that they have the super articulated torso so she has the lower ab crunch like we'd seen with the black widow pinless joints all the way through beautiful wafting hair two heads and this looks great Excuse me, I just really hope that we get a Ms. Marvel figure as well. Yeah, both of those head sculpts look really, really good. She's going to come with some accessory effect pieces right over there too. Yeah, uh, definitely a pickup for me. I'm down to upgrade the shelf with this newer version. I like the older one, but I think this one is looking a little bit better. I'm pretty stoked about it. They also gave us a new superior Spider-Man, which I thought... It was something that was very well needed. They're saying that they had concept art that it was based off of. I'm like, okay, but it was a comic book. I don't really get it. You know, uh, I'm not really buying that. that one's. I'm not that that pill's not going down so smooth, Dwight. I'm not really buying that one to be honest with you. However, this looks great, man. It's uh, Dan mentioned that Matt left this spider-man figure in this pose for five minutes and i thought that was awesome that you could do that um they have the renew your vows body mold so we have the articulated toes uh those those uh, auto arms on the back look really really cool he's gonna have an interchangeable backpack piece the posability for this figure looks great unfortunately we're likely still gonna have that same neck issue even though it's hidden right over here but he can look up some still 
But yeah, a new Superior Spider-Man for the collection. I'm happy to get it, especially with the arms and everything. And he's going to have two heads right there, which is great as well. This is a definite pickup for me, even though I have this character. Cool thing is, is if you're not as impressed by these figures as I am, you can just pass on all of them because every single one of these characters are already out. You can get any one of these figures right now, including Scar, which looks really really good i love how the body looks for this guy uh this is the one that was teased last time with his blade everybody everybody uh well not everybody but like a lot of people called it with that knife i didn't but yeah that, and he looks huge next to wolverine right over there i am noticing a lack of tattoos now i could be wrong Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought this dude is supposed to have hella tattoos, and I see, like, no tattoos. Maybe a little bit on the right arm over there. It's hidden maybe because of the pose. And you can see he's standing pretty tall. You're looking at about eight inches. Yeah, so that's a good-sized figure. And he's, uh, they don't have specific pre-order announcements for Scar. And then uh, we got Iron Fist, which looks really good. I can't. Uh, dude, I've been wanting a classic Iron Fist for so damn long. There is an aesthetic issue for me, maybe not for everybody else, but even in this angle over here, like the, the cut of the shirt looks like it's too wide. I know it sounds like one of those nitpicky things, but I always thought it was supposed to kind of make a V-shape. Look at the posability. Again, using the Renew Your Vows body mold. Unless they used the Sunfire body mold and switched the feet, but those are definitely Renew Your Vows toes on there. That could be a Sunfire bot. No, I think that's the Renew Your Vows all the way through. But yeah, uh, it's supposed. isn't it supposed to kind of make a V-shape going down towards the middle? Uh, I could be wrong about that, but just based off my memory of the of the character's design. However, I'm st I'm I'm just stoked to get a classic Danny Ketch, but he's or Danny Ketch. Ooh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, Danny Rand, but he will also come with Luke Cage over here, and this looks phenomenal. Look at that, Luke Cage. This is a version of Luke Cage I've been wanting to add to my collection for so damn long. It's actually this version of Luke Cage inspired Street Humans pro way early on, man. Because I was like, man, I, I want this version. I actually want a tank top version, but having the yellow t-shirt version looks great too. And he's got the pinless joints, new pants over there. He looks really poseable. Comes with two sets of hands, two heads. All of these figures have been coming with at least two heads so far. He's got the knuckle dusters right there. Oh, dude, I, I am stoked for this two-pack. So definitely picking this up for sure. That is a must-get. I may even have to get two of them. One for the Avengers shelf, one for the Marvel Knights shelf. I can't wait for that set. And then, oh, dude, I was so stoked. They revealed Danny Catch. Yeah, I sorry, I jumped the gun. But, dude, this looks so sick. I love the spikes, the pants, the boots, and everything. Oh, it looks so freaking awesome. Yeah, and I love the photos over here, too. They, they look great. I do get bothered when I see the chain around the the torso and in his hand because it's supposed to be, you know, <laughs> he, he's supposed to come with one, right? But they, I, I get it. It's kind of like Captain America and the shoulder straps with the shield. Anyway, um, they had teased us a little flame effect. I don't think anybody really got this right. And then... Uh, they brought out a couple more flame effects and were like, oh no, are, are they going to bring out the bike? And he say, no, he's just cool like that in his demonic glory. And nope. And he's <laughs> Dwight throws motorcycle or his Johnny Blaze figure off and Ryan catches it. And so Dwight threw the bike and busts out the Danny Ketch bike, which looks amazing. I think this looks dope. A little on the short side. Nitpick a little bit. Okay. I feel like the length of it, like on the black section on the body of the motorcycle, looks a little on the short side. But I have to wait till I actually see it in hand to really know. But I think it looks pretty. I mean, look at this shot right here. That looks amazing. Yeah, and that teased flame effect was all about just getting this thing to stand in a wheelie pose. And I think that is so freaking awesome. That uh, blast shield right there uh, it has uh, some articulation. Look at the guts of the of the vehicle right there. That looks sick. You can see all that underneath that tire or behind the tire. That looks awesome. Seeing it on the stand like that, that looks great. Oh, man, we got some nice deco and stickers right there. 
and uh, Dwight's showing off how you can slide sh the blast shield down and everything. And then, yes, I, I totally got what Dan said, <laughs> the Kira slide. <laughs> I was like, oh, I know. I know exactly what he's talking about. And awesome shot right over there once again. Uh, I can't wait to pick that one up. Definitely a must get for me. And then uh, we, then they showed off the packaging over here, which looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it's crazy different or anything. Uh, it looks nice, a little fresh, a little bit more patterns sprinkled throughout. Uh, they teased a rock. They busted out a rock, and um, yeah, you can see how Ryan tossed it to Dwight over there. Um, but here's the thing, dude, is uh, shout out to Figure Report. Figure Report mentioned uh, Dan's post over here. And which I thought this was a great stream. This is one of the more fun streams. Every single figure looked like a banger to me. You know, I had my gripes, but every single one of them, even though that they're figures of characters I already have, I want every single one of them. So I thought this was a great presentation, great lineup, kind of what I've been asking for, less figures, more quality. That's what I saw today anyway. But shout out to Figure Report for catching this little Easter egg. That rock apparently... Might be going with a Hulkbuster. So, pretty excited about that. Uh, I don't think we've gotten a comic Hulkbuster since Diamond Select Toys or Toy Biz days. So, I'm I'm pretty stoked to get a new comic Hulkbuster. That should be really awesome. Hopefully, we could fit in some of our existing Iron Man figures in there. Ooh, that'd be amazing, huh? But I thought that was more of a movie thing, wasn't it? Did he do that in the comic books, too? I think he did. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you liked this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that thumbs up button. And let me know which figure you're most excited for. For me, it's definitely the Danny Ketch. Like, all the way. Danny Ketch, Ghost Rider. That's the one I've been wanting the most. Add him to my new Fantastic Four. I'm stoked for that one. Uh, let me know which figure you are looking forward to the most out of what was presented today. I will read your comments. And, yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace. Hey, I'm sure I'm Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.